As a Latin teacher, have you forgotten translations like these? I certainly have, and it's not necessarily the translator's fault. There are lots of different ways to translate text, and lots of reasons why someone might want to. But the ways translation often happens in our classes can really limit its value. It can limit its value for students in terms of what they learn or otherwise get from the process, and its value for us as teachers evaluating students' skills. So in this video, I want to share one simple trick and some variations on it for better translation. Salve, Justin here from the Latin Teacher Lab. There's actually a lot of research and other writing out there on the topic of pedagogical translation, that is, translation that's done for learning purposes as opposed to for some other purpose, such as publication, and what it does and doesn't turn out to be good for. But here I just want to take a common sense approach and share one change I made that led to better translations and more value from the act of translation. And that change is shifting from a prompt like translate this text or translate this passage into English to another type of translation prompt that I I call a scenario. A scenario. And here's my most common example. Your friend who isn't in Latin class has heard how great the stories in our class are and wants to be able to read one for herself. But she doesn't know Latin. You do. Rewrite this story in English in a way that gets across to her both the details and the feel of the story as well as possible. Just shifting to that kind of prompt immediately made a huge difference in the quality of translations that I was seeing. What do I mean by quality of translations? Because translations can have different purposes. Well, translations that more faithfully reflect the Latin original, not just in terms of sheer content, but also in terms of things like tense, and translations that are readable, that flow well, that are actually interesting. Here's another example of a scenario prompt. You're a scholar who's discovered this text and will reveal it to the world. You want people to truly grasp the meaning of the text. And you can include even more detail in a scenario if you want. You're entering a contest to see which translation of this Latin text will be used for the official English edition. The publisher would like the English version to convey the content of the Latin text as precisely as possible, without being difficult for the average person to read. You can add another little spin to that just for fun, like, in addition to getting your version published, you'll also receive a prize. Specify at the bottom of your translation what you want your prize to be, or draw a picture of the prize you'd like to receive. Even if you don't have a translation problem to solve, scenarios can be a fun way to mix things up, and variety can do a lot for refreshing or energizing people, especially if you're stuck in a long rut. If you ever have trouble coming up with that variety yourself, why not have students invent scenarios that they think would lead to good translations, and then you can assign certain ones depending on the goal of the task. Helping students create those scenarios could involve some really good discussion about what translation even is, what are some reasons for doing translation and how to go about it, which is a discussion I recommend having anyway. I want to be clear that nothing I've said means you can never have a prompt that just says translate this text or translate this passage, especially if you're preparing students for a specific exam that has such a prompt. But the kind of scenarios I've been talking about can really help students hone their translation skills for those kinds of prompts on those kinds of tests. So if you want better translations or just more investment from students because of the interest factor and the variety, give scenario prompts a shot. If you want me to make more videos like this and more people to see them, go ahead and the like button. And if you want more super practical tips for teaching Latin effectively and joyfully, check out one of these videos next. As always, I wish you and your students joy and success. Wale!